This video is brought to you by my ebook, Texting Women Like a Boss. The link is in the description. She is still friends with the guy that she slept with three weeks before me, and she's already out. It's always interesting to me the things that guys are willing to accept if it means that they're able to either get some action or be in a relationship with a woman that they are just really, really feeling. Like, we men like to feel as though we're logical and we'll always make the logical decision that's not based on emotion. But when it comes to women and you're dating a woman that's hot and attractive and you seem to have a bond with, sometimes your logical brain will be intercepted by your emotional feelings and you will be keeping around women that are doing things that actually are not beneficial to you or the relationship. And this especially is true for you dating a woman who has an ex or a previous lover in the background. It can be very, very hard to want to dismiss a woman like that because you have feelings that are involved and you're just hoping that if she likes you enough, she's going to get rid of that guy. So we have a situation that's happening here. This guy is 29 and the woman is also 29. And it goes like this. He says, we've been dating for three months. And this weekend, we were going to have a conversation about making it official. However, I feel uncomfortable that she is still friends with the guy that she slept with three weeks before me. And I'm already out. Like at that point, at the point that I knew that she was still friends with the guy that she had previously and recently hooked up with, this is already a no zone as it pertains to agreeing to a relationship. She can stay on as a friends with benefits, person that you're hooking up with, but you accepting this woman that is trying to say that she has a guy in the background, already a no bueno. But we'll continue on. So he says, these two were friends that twice tried at a relationship. But once she saw that I was serious about creating a long-term relationship, she decided to cut him off and chose me. And that's what should have happened, which is that even if she was dating you and this other guy or hooking up with this other guy at the point that you guys are getting more serious, if she has high enough interest, she should be willing of her own accord, mind you, not anything you're forcing her to do, but of her own accord to say, you know what? I want to make sure this one over here is going to actually work out. And so therefore I have to cut this one off. Now, again, they were friends and they tried at a relationship twice, which means that they were hooking up with each other and doing things that could lead towards that, but ultimately it didn't happen for reasons we'll get into later. Suffice to say, this is not a man that this woman should be keeping around in the background when she's trying to date you, all right? So then he says, it's been a great three months, but it's been a recurring issue. Those two phrases are contradictory. It's been great, but we've also been fighting about this ex slash wannabe boyfriend that's been in the background. That means that, that there's been a lot of discussions. And so this is the part where sometimes guys will say, well, if she's disrespecting me in a certain way, shouldn't I bring this to her attention? I'm of the camp like this. For one, if I would have seen that early on, then I would just know in my head, okay, she's not a serious contender for a girlfriend. At that point, I will continue to see her and possibly other women. At the point that she came to me and said, hey, Harry, I wanna be in a relationship. We should have the relationship conversation. Then this is when I would get into what my non-negotiables are in order to bestow that title upon her. I talk about this, by the way, extensively in my program, the uh, Introvert Dating Success Academy community, which you can learn more about at introvertdatingsuccess.com. But suffice to say, you do not accept terms that aren't going to be pleasing to you in being in a serious relationship. So one of those terms could, should actually be that you don't want to see a person, or rather, you don't want to have a commitment to a person that has exes in, in the back, background, okay? And so at the point that we had the, the conversation, I'd be like, okay, so what about so-and-so over here? You guys still like friends are hooking up? Oh yeah, we're still friends and you know we still text each other and hang out from time to time, but he's just a friend, it's no big deal. There's nothing to be concerned about there. I don't, I don't have feelings for him like that anymore. And I would just be like, okay, great. Um, so for now, let's just keep things the way they are. Now, notice what I have not done. I have not told her, get rid of this guy. I've not tried to force her to stop the relationship. I've just simply said, if that's what you want to do, that's totally fine. 
I'm not gonna be in a situation because I don't feel like I can handle that. So I don't have to bestow a title upon anybody. Like we can keep hanging out and doing what we're doing, just we won't be super serious. And that way I can continue to see you and other people and you can continue to see me as well as that ex boyfriend of yours that you swear you're not hooking up with. That's totally fine because you don't have to accept that. But at the same time, you cannot force her to make that decision because Women want to feel as though they have autonomy and they can do the things they want to do. And we want her deciding that you are more important than this other guy. We don't want you forcing her to make that decision and then resenting you later. But I digress. So anyway, he says, it's been a great three months, but it's been a recurring issue. She has been honest and transparent with me, even to go as far as to show me her phone and their messages. But I still just don't like the idea that she told me that she wanted to wait until we had a committed relationship before we hooked up. Meanwhile, she was hooking up with this guy. She made an exception for him and honestly me too, but nonetheless, it hurts a bit. So eventually she caved in and hooked up with this guy. But the fact that early on she was saying, well, you know, I wanna wait until we're committed to do that. And then she's got Chad in the background. First of all, this is actually a thing that a lot of women do. It is normal for women to have a hookup guy that they're hooking up with while they're dating you because they're thinking, well, I wanna make sure to see where this guy's gonna go because I can see a future with this guy. But while I'm vetting this guy, I already know this guy over here and I'm horny and I have needs. And so therefore I wanna keep hooking up. And that might not be a pleasing thing to hear. And hey, you can decide if you're too uncomfortable with that to where you don't wanna accept that. I'm just giving you the realities of what is generally going on. But for that person to continue to be around as she's trying to think about you being in a serious relationship, that's where problems arise and that is not acceptable. Now, continuing on. So then he says, I communicated this all to her and the reason she doesn't wanna cut him off is because he is a longtime friend from college and doesn't see the point in destroying that connection. Now, college years are 18 to 22, they're 29. So that means post-college, since, since the age of 22, they've still continued to be friends up to this point. 22 plus seven is, so we'll add seven years to their college years. So they've been friends for 11 years, but in that time, they have hooked up, they've been friends with benefits, they've been close to getting into a relationship. And it'd be different if like, this happened like years ago, like they hooked up in college and that was it. This is like, he's saying this has happened recently that they were hooking up. So I don't really care how long this woman knew this guy. The reality is there's, especially the longer they've known each other, it's worse because they have secrets amongst each other. They've had experiences. They have a whole history. That's going to make her feel as though she's closer to this guy than you. So yeah, keeping him in the background is not ever a good idea because those feelings could potentially still be there. And even though she's trying to be serious with you, there's a lingering thought of, but if this doesn't work out, I have my crutch right here to lean back on. And there's a high probability that she could be leaning on that crutch for other things. You guys get into a fight, for example, who is she gonna go to to talk about that? You're out of town and she wants to get physical, but you're not there to touch her or hug her. That guy's right there. Hey, let me come over and just spend some time with you on the couch and watch Netflix and, and that stuff. Whether women wanna fight me on it or not happens all the time, all right? So you're, you're a smart guy for not wanting to date somebody that could potentially have somebody in the background that is sitting there, that has already had his way with her before, that could easily sneak his way back in. Let's face it guys, dating is hard enough as it is, and if you're not assured of what you're doing in the dating process, you could have a prospect out there that would actually wanna get with you, and you could end up losing her. And so I've put a lot of time and effort over the years into really putting together some solid programs that are designed to help you get that edge up in the dating game, and they're all contained in my program, the Introvert Dating Success Academy community. This community is one that is chock full of video lessons and audio books, as well as eBooks that are designed to really give you an edge up in the dating game by walking you through the step-by-step -step ways for you to 
do online dating, to attract women, to be able to take them on dates, and to ultimately land the woman of your dreams. Now, this is something that appeals to you. You can go to introvertdatingsuccess.com, check out the front page to see what the program has to offer. And if you like what you see, we would love to have you join today. So that's the Introvert Dating Success Academy community, which you can check out at introvertdatingsuccess.com. She says she did nothing wrong and that it's a you problem. Oh, not good, not good. I really don't think it is. I don't wanna be the controlling or insecure boyfriend but just keeping this friend around doesn't make me feel secure in the relationship. I mean, who would? Well, the reality is that you shouldn't feel that way because, you know, as men, we know other men. You can probably tell that this guy is in the background in part because he knows that she's an easy lay. If something goes wrong or, she, you know, he just comes and says, hey, I've been thinking about us. I really miss your company. Just come over and talk for a little bit. You know that that guy could be setting traps to potentially lure her in again. And to be fair, I always say, you know, women are ultimately responsible for the decisions that they make. And so if they let somebody say some stuff that brings them back over to a bad situation, that is on them. But that doesn't mean that men don't know how to talk that game to make it happen or to, to better persuade her to make that decision, okay? And so again, you are wise to be that guy that's thinking, I don't like this scenario, and that you don't wanna set yourself up for potential disappointment. You should not be blamed for that. So then he says, to top it all off, this friend already picked a woman over her the last time and has only swung back to her after that relationship ended and still chose not to give her the relationship she wanted. It's obvious that the guy doesn't care about her like that, and she knows it too, but still wants to remain friends. So earlier, he's, he phrased it as um, they were friends. Uh, uh, this is the guy that she slept with three weeks before him. All right? So they've been dating three months, So, but, but before they got together three weeks prior, they had hooked up. And then, so now, and then he said that, you know, once that they started getting serious, that she decided to cut him off, right? But that's only because also, you learn here that she actually wanted to get with him, but that he was not going to choose her. So in part, she was cutting him off because she figured, well, he doesn't want to mess with me anyway, and so I guess the best decision is to go see this guy. But that does not mean that she cut off her feelings for this guy or that she doesn't want to potentially keep him in the background in hopes that, God forbid, he ever changes his mind at all, it's an easy jump to go from you to him. Like, that's what's being set up here, okay? So this is why it's important to understand why it is that certain men are still in a woman's life. Or, well, this guy cut you off but you still hooked up with them, even though he doesn't want you as a long-term, what's with that? Like, you need to figure out all these details because then you're able to see what's actually going on, which is that she's keeping him around because she still has feelings of some kind and she knows right now that his feelings aren't as strong. But maybe if he gets, stays around long enough, then they'll eventually change up. And so, yeah, you're being set up for the okie doke and that's not all right, all right? So then, uh, he says, she thinks I don't understand what it means to have a friendship with an ex since I cut off all my exes, which you should do. And I tell you guys to do that all the time because it's not fair for her for you to be having other girls that hooked up with you and they are potentially trying to win you back. He says, but I do emphasize, uh, emphasize he spelled it, uh, emphasize with her, but this isn't different. This wasn't a friend that she just slept with once in college and remained friends for years with. This is a recent thing, okay? So here's what's going on overall, because this, when this woman said, she says she did nothing wrong and that it's a you problem, she's really trying to gaslight him into thinking that there's no feelings whatsoever and that it's totally fine for him to still be in the background and how dare he feel threatened, you know? And what's interesting is um, later on he says, let me just get this right, he says that he would be comfortable with harsh boundaries overall with exes. For example, uh, no one-on-one -on -one meetings, no late night conversations, immediately cut them off if they become flirty or disrespectful towards the relationship, or notify me whenever you will be with them and my invitation to attend is never rescinded. And then he says, however, even as I type this, I realize I don't even think I wanna put up with this much. Yeah, because here's the thing. This guy's now thinking, okay, well, I guess I could compromise and be cool with it if there are certain boundaries in place, which means you're now what? You're forcing rules upon a person. 
And that person is probably not going to want to feel as though you're, she, she wants you to control a friendship that she's had with a guy for over 11 years now because you feel in her head, you feel uncomfortable and you're, you're, you can't handle that situation. And again, this is not a matter of you being jealous or you not being able to handle it. It's a matter of respect and it's a matter of reality, which is that women have been the people that, and men have too, but people keep exiting in the background all the time with the thought of like, if I'm ever single, if things go haywire, or if something's going wrong with my current partner, I can just easily jump over to this person and get a kind word or get a, a really good thrashing in the bedroom, you know? And so even as well-meaning as he thinks this is, of I'm gonna try to set some boundaries about what they can do and can't do. The reality is he's not gonna always be there when she's making decisions about whether she wants to follow these or not. No one-on-one -on -one meetings. Oh, but he, hey, I just need to meet up with you real quick to drop something off. Oh, I guess I'll make an exception. Do, 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 do. No late like conversations. Hey, except he calls up. Hey, so I just got into an accident and you're the only person that can help me out. Can you please help me? So, so these rules you're putting in place could still be broken, at which point, what's gonna happen? You're gonna have more fights and more conversations that you don't wanna have about respect and about blah, 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 right? And so, all this to say, what should actually be happening is this man should not be bestowing the title of girlfriend on this girl for as long as she has this ex in the background. I'd go so far as to say he should get rid of her altogether, but also, also again, if the hookup's great, everything else is fine, but this is an issue, then you just gotta know that you gotta know that you gotta know that this guy in the background is top tier to her, and that is why she's not trying to get rid of him. So you got a decision to make, which is either A, do you wanna cut her off completely and try to go after other women? Or B, do you just understand what's going on and know that this is not a person to be a serious contender for a girlfriend and just say, you know what, hey, but she's still fun in the sack, it is what it is, so I'm gonna see her and possibly see other women. Or of course you could just say, I'm out and just go see other people. But the point is, regardless of what you choose, choosing her as the girlfriend is the absolute worst decision you could make. Now, I get some guys may be hesitant to hear that because they're thinking, but Harry, if I get rid of her, I don't potentially have other prospects. And that's a problem because that means that you have either A, not built up the confidence to be able to get those women, or B, you don't have the right kind of game to be able to just go out there and talk to new women and get them. Because I can assure you, if you had that game, if you had the ability to go out there, meet women, you know, know how to attract them, how to really see what they're about, then you wouldn't worry about if a girl started messing up like this girl, you would just be like, oh, okay, so she's not super serious about me and she more likely than not is keeping this other guy around because she really likes them. So, uh, it is what it is. I didn't catch it, but you know what? I got some other prospects, so it's all good. And you'd be a lot more, it'd be a lot easier for you to not have to stick with a bad situation. Now, if you need help with that, you can join my program, Introvert Dating Success Academy Community, which you can learn more about at my website. You can also go there to check out my eBooks and audiobooks. Plus I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching at the website as well, all right? So hopefully for now, guys, though, this has helped you out. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Harry Dating Combos. Be sure to give this video a like and a subscribe. And by the way, if you have a situation you're going through and you'd like my help in one of these videos, you can write to me at harry at introvertdatingsuccess.com. Thanks for watching. I'm Harry Wilmington, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm out. Peace.